Hi Year 6 and welcome to Friday's Jigsaw lesson. Now in our Jigsaw lessons we usually think about how we can look after ourselves, how we can treat other people um, and thinking about different things to do with our well-being and our values really. So last term we spent some time looking at celebrating differences and learning about some other people who were slightly different to us, learning about people with disabilities, learning about how different people cope in different situations. This term, we're going to start thinking about ourselves and some of our dreams and goals. Now, at the moment, we're in a bit of a strange situation. We're going into another lockdown. We've finished our first week um, of a whole term's home learning. And so we know that things are a little bit difficult. So I can't think of a better time for you to really stop and think and focus on yourself and thinking about how you're feeling and what you're doing to help make yourself feel happy um, and positive while you're at home. So today we're going to look at setting personal goals. Now there is an activity sheet that will be on the website underneath this link. You might want to have that with you if you're able to print it out and you could always follow along. Um, for some of the activities you can easily draw or write them yourself. Or if you want to go back and look at the activity sheet afterwards, you can. There are three different things that we're going to do as we work through the lesson. The first thing that I need you to think about then is what is a goal? If we're going to set our own goals for ourselves, what is a goal? And no, I don't mean kicking a football into the back of the net. Pause me, write down what you think a goal is and then come back. Okay, so hopefully you've said something like a goal is something that you want to achieve or something that you are going to work towards, something that you want to um, do in the future and you need to put things in place to do it. So we're going to think about setting our own personal goals about how we are, the things that we are doing and the things that we want to do more of, okay, or we want to be able to achieve in the future. So, um thinking about doing more of the things that make us happy. And that's really especially important at the moment when sometimes we might not feel happy all the time and we want to do more of those things that can help us to feel happy and positive when things are feeling a bit tricky. So have a look at this Venn diagram now. So we've seen Venn diagrams usually in maths and you've got three categories and they're each represented by a circle and there's some overlap in the circles there as well. So we're going to think about the things that make us happy, the things that make us healthy and the things that make us feel comfortable. And I want you to jot down anything that you can think of that falls into those three categories now if you haven't been able to print this out it really doesn't matter it doesn't have to be in a venn diagram you could literally just jot it down as um three sections okay but if you've got the venn diagram then things that go here will be things that make you happy and comfortable things that go here will make you healthy and comfortable and in the middle all three if i give you a quick example before you pause me and have a go yourself um something that makes me healthy so it makes me healthy and happy is actually getting enough sleep so really important to get enough sleep to stay healthy and when i don't have enough sleep i am pretty grumpy and not feeling too happy um something else that makes me healthy uh i guess brushing my teeth doesn't necessarily make me feel happy to brush my teeth, but it makes me feel healthy. So that's going to go in that one. Things that make me happy, uh, FaceTime with my sister. Okay. So that's a kind of good example. It makes me feel comfortable um, being at home with, with my family. And that one makes me feel happy as well. So it would go in that one. All right. So there's a quick example. Um, pause the video now. As I say, you can either have the sheet or you can just jot it down. Think of as many things as you can that make you feel happy, healthy and comfortable and resume the video when you've finished. OK, great. I hope you could think of lots and lots of other examples. We're going to move on now to think about how much of our day we actually give to feeling happy, healthy and comfortable. And some of those things that we've noted down, how much of our time is actually spent doing them. So this is a time tracker. And this circle, you've got a copy on the sheet on the website as well if you need it. This circle is split into 24. So each section represents 
an hour of the day. And we are going to fill it in, colour it in to colour code the amount of time we spend doing things on an average day. So have a think, first of all, how long on average usually do you spend sleeping? How many hours sleep do you get? How much of your day do you spend eating? How much of your day do you spend exercising? I'm going to show you my example and then you can pause the video and go off and try for yourself. So this is my time tracker and I've split it into sleeping. So I kind of work out, worked out I usually sleep about eight hours um, a night. Some uh, time for eating, some time for exercising. I don't every I don't exercise every day. Maybe I should. I've been doing a few Joe Wicks workouts, so that counts as exercise. But usually it would just be going for a walk. But that's fine. So I put an hour a day in. Lots of my hours on the week in the week are spent working. So I've got those. I've got um, my hours spent with Freya, either playing with Freya or giving Freya a bath and putting Freya down to bed. Um, when she's at nursery, I don't spend as many hours with her, obviously. Um, if this was a weekend, it would probably look quite different, but I've done my day for a week. I've got a bit of time there where I would spend checking in with my family or friends, maybe having a FaceTime or just ringing them. Um, and then a little bit of time for relaxing where I might read or I might watch TV and just chill out and not do much of anything. So all of those things, some of those things will have featured in what makes us happy and healthy and comfortable, you know, exercising, eating, sleeping, all keeping us healthy, spending time with our family, friends or doing things like reading, keeping us happy. So it all links in and I want you to do this activity to make yourself think, am I doing enough? of the things that are really good for me? Am I doing enough of the things that keep me healthy? Do I remember to fit those things into my day? So you can either think of, say yesterday, as an example of a whole day, or you can think about a normal average weekday for you, okay? Pause the video here, grab some colors. If you don't have loads of colors, just write in each section what it is, sleeping, eating, friends, whatever, and come back once you've finished. Okay, I hope that you found that an interesting activity um, to do. I know that I did. I mean, a lot of my time spent sleeping, but a lot of my time spent working as well. So that was a little bit shocking to see that written like that. A lot of sleep, a lot of work, and then less time for everything else. We're going to move on from that now to actually be, actually set our goals. So I want you to think about, look at your tracker and think, do you always spend enough of your day doing the things that are good for you or the things that you enjoy? Or really, were you finding it difficult to plot how long you spend doing some of those things? What I want you to do is set yourself three goals for next week. They need to be realistic. OK, so don't make them too drastic or too crazy. Uh, you know, you probably don't want to say, oh, I'm going to do six hours of exercise every day because that's probably not very realistic. It's not actually going to happen. It's not actually going to be that good for you. And then you're unlikely to achieve them. The really important thing when setting goals for yourself is that you are going to be able to achieve them. So they should be a little bit challenging. Otherwise, it's not going to be hard and you're not going to have to put any effort in. So it shouldn't be something that you're just going to do normally anyway, because it needs to involve a little bit of effort from you and trying a little bit hard to um, achieve it. But it shouldn't be too difficult that it's unachievable. OK, so you should be able to achieve with a little bit of effort. You should be able to achieve all three because you will feel really good if you are able to be successful in the goals that you set for yourself. So you might say something like you. Think about what you had for keeping you happy, healthy and comfortable. Look at how you spend your day. And you might say, actually, so my goal for myself is to spend more time uh, exercising next week. I'm going to, for example, a nice specific goal, go for a walk every day. Even if that's a little short walk around the block, get outside and get some fresh air. That could be a goal. You might decide, actually, I haven't really fit in as much home learning as I'd, I'd like to. And I want to set myself a goal relating to how much home learning I'm going to get done. 
You might think I've got in a really good routine this week and it's been really, really good for me. And I've had a good balance of learning and relaxing and catching up with people. And so actually, I just my goal is going to be stick to my home learning routine and don't um, don't fall off that. That could be a goal. Your goal could also be something really specific like um make sure that my handwriting is really neat in my home learning book or um make sure i practice my times tables every day practice my spellings every day get 10 out of 10 um six out of six in my spelling test at the end of the week so it could be really specific to one thing like a piece of maths or a specific piece of learning or it could be general, it could relate to your exercise, it could relate to catching up with friends, maybe your goal is um, ring a friend at least once next week, okay? So end the, end the lesson here, set yourself three goals, have a really good think about it, write them down so that you can remember them and you can commit to them. We would love to see what your goals are, so send them through. And then next week, in our next jigsaw lesson, we're going to spend a little bit of time reflecting on the goals and whether we manage to achieve them or not. So thank you for sticking with the lesson. Get your goals noted down and then send them across. Bye-bye.